Um, when I was 11 years old, I climbed Mount Kilimanjaro, and so it's been quite a few years ago. I don't know if I was the youngest, but I was definitely youngish. Um, my dad was an airline pilot for Pan Am, so I got to travel a lot of the world when I was a kid. Well, Born to Explore airs uh, nationally on ABC and internationally on National Geographic. And uh, it's an adventure travel show. We do 26 original episodes a year. And the whole idea of Born to Explore is to use the backdrop of adventure and travel to highlight different cultures around the world. Uh, we were nominated for a Daytime Emmy in our first year. And uh, it was a big honor because our show is done with a small, very dedicated production team out of Connecticut. And so we feel like uh, we accomplish a lot on a, on a very small budget and that you know we're competing against big boys. So when we go out in the field, um, we have five people in our crew, myself, uh, two cameramen, a sound person, and a producer, and we work with uh, local communities. So the real difference in uh, the travel for us is that we are working with people with local knowledge and that we're doing things that you wouldn't necessarily find in a travel book or online. For example, in Chile, we went out with a woman who was the only professional fishing woman in all of Chile. She's a single mother, she's in her 50s, never taken a vacation day in her life. Uh, in Cyprus, we're in an archeological dig with people. So uh, it, it's, we're taking these little slices of, of life and it, it's been just great. It's been a lot of fun. You know, the difference between a good trip and an epic trip is often perspective. And I think, for example, I live in the New York metropolitan area. Half a million people go through Grand Central Station every day. But when I go through there, I actually look at the ground and the walls because there are fossils all over the place. So while people are just looking to go someplace, I'm actually on my own little Jurassic Park tour. So I, I think that um, the whole idea of travel is to walk out your door and look at something that you've seen many times over and see it through new eyes. And, and, I, and I think you can do that virtually any place you live. I, I think the best advice I'd ever give somebody is to, while you think globally, you would act locally and sort of get out of the slice of American hotels or uh, find someone who, who's a local there and attach themselves. Because uh, to me, there's nothing better than local knowledge. If I were planning a trip to Los Angeles, I wouldn't ask somebody from Europe to plan it for me. I'd ask somebody from Los Angeles. I'm Richard Weiss, and you're watching Jet Set Extra.